excuse us if we leave cliched references to cardigans by the wayside while publishing what might be our final review of the current generation Toyota Camry. Not only are such illusions lazy writing, they are also facetious. Australia's biggest volume automotive export wins no prizes for glamour, but it deserves a fond farewell. In October this year the current iteration of the Camry will die, at the same time as Toyota closes its Melbourne factory. In its place a brand new version will arrive, sourced from Japan. But that's then, and this is now, and we wanted to spend a final stint at the wheel of a car that got none of the plaudits its fellow Australian-made Commodore and Falcon models did, despite the Toyota often being produced at a higher scale. It's no great secret that Camry relies principally on sales to large-scale business and government fleet operators, some with buy Australian policies. And anyone who uses taxes or Uber will know the car well. In the Camry's 34-year history in Australia, sales have surpassed 920,000 cars including 690,000 four-cylinder petrol models, 42,000 hybrids and 169,000 V6 variants. It has been Australia's best-selling mid-size car for each of the past 23 years. If there's anything the Camry represents, it's a defiantly average offering that'll do the job without giving fuss or eliciting fervour. A steady-handed constant amongst the ebbs and flows, high and lows. It also happens to be nothing short of a bargain for anyone who wants a reliable, solid, spacious and comfortable sedan, and who sees cars as a means to an end. We're not strictly an enthusiast publication here at Car Advice, and therefore we see the value in that.